Hi and welcome, it's Jules Muller, founder and CEO of Chicks Connect and happy Thanksgiving weekend. Today is Black Friday as I'm doing this. I am home snuggled in my warm home and the rest of you might be out shopping and uh, fighting with the crowds, but not me. <laughs> um, so we started the month off with our gratitude 100 lists. We reflected on our greatest challenge and greatest accomplishments. And last week we discussed philanthropy in our personal lives and our chapter charity focus. During this last week of November, we are focusing on Thanksgiving strategies, not necessarily the traditional holiday, but you certainly may have that as your focus. Rather the ability to attain your desires, goals, and dreams with the use of Thanksgiving strategies. Here's an example. After losing everything in 2008, I was often stressed and panicked about finances. I wondered how I would feed my family, if I should go back into education, if I was being irresponsible going for my dreams, etc. Many mentors along the way would talk to me about gratitude, focusing on what I want, not what I feared, being thankful for the money that was coming in. I started implementing the strategies that I was learning and things slowly began to change. I encourage you to discuss various strategies with your sister chicks and implement some of them as well. I will post some of the specific strategies that I used. Thanksgiving strategies that will bring you closer to your desires, goals, and dreams. Affirmations. I repeatedly said this affirmation aloud in the morning while in the shower. I am attracting wealth and abundance in a lighthearted, carefree way. Honoring my income. Anytime money came to me, online, cash, checks, a penny on the street, etc., I would take a moment to look at the dollar amount, breathe in in appreciation and thanks, and would visualize the person who sent it to me and breathe in thanks and appreciation. I would write down the total I made for the day and give thanks. Giving thanks to my income helped me focus on how much I had versus what I lacked, attracting more of what I wanted, not what I didn't want in my life. Act as if. We would visit RV dealerships, shows, and tour the ones that were on the site at the RV park. On Saturday and Sunday mornings, they would open up the big rigs and I would take my cup of coffee and walk over to the toy haulers. I would sit on the couches, visualize my children in the beds throughout the rig, where I would put my items. I acted as if it were already mine. I could see myself in it. I was three years from purchasing it, but that didn't matter. I had a burning desire to have it, and I was trying all the strategies I knew. Other focused. For me, being able to focus on my family helped with my motivation. I needed to feed them, purchase them a rig that was big enough for them to have a bed that fit them, needing to pay the Chicks Connect affiliates each month since the beginning of Chicks Connect. These were things that in my mind, these were the things in my mind that were non-negotiable, which kept me motivated and focused on the success of my business. So what do you want, personally or business focused? You need to be thankful for what you already have and focus on some of these strategies and others in order to bring those desires, goals, and dreams to life. There is no better time than right now to decide to take action and turn your dreams into a reality. Read over these ideas with your sister chicks. Share other strategies that have worked or that you've read about. These are only a few of the many, many strategies that I've implemented over the course of my life. Implementation is key. Knowing about fantastic strategies is one thing. Doing them is another. Today is the day to start doing. I am starting the following strategies today. List all the ones that you plan on starting and fill in the blank here. Find an accountability partner or report to your Chick Chapter or post in your Facebook group. Accountability is key. We want to see you achieve your greatest desires, dreams, and goals this Thanksgiving. Big hugs, Jules and the Muller boys. Have a happy, happy Thanksgiving weekend.